In this video, I'll walk you through creating gorgeous pie charts with the help of ChatGPT. Let's head over to ChatGPT and I'll walk you through the process. I'm going to create a pie chart showing a book creator's membership by country. I've downloaded our subscription data and have it in a spreadsheet. To get started, I need to drag and drop that file into ChatGPT. Next, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to create a table from this data for me. Here's the prompt I'm going to use. Create a table from this data showing all the countries in the address underscore country column in the first column and a total for the number of times that country is listed in the second column. Give me the entire table. Now that I have the table, I'm going to ask it to use the data in that table to generate the pie chart. Here's the prompt I'm going to use. Use the table you generated above, create a pie chart showing the percentage for each country showing the top six countries and using others to make the total come out to 100%. Do not add the percentages to the chart. Do not add a title to the chart. I put that in there because I'm going to pull the chart into Canda and add that information myself. Sometimes ChatGPT doesn't do exactly what you ask, and I have the countries and the percentages, which I don't want, so I'm going to ask it to do it again. And now I have exactly the chart that I want. To download it, you can do a right click and say save image as, give it a name, and now you have the chart on your desktop or wherever you told it to put it. If I didn't have this information already, I would next ask for ChatGPT to give me the percentages in a table. To do that, I'm going to use this prompt. Create a table showing the countries and others in the above chart in the first column and the percentages in the second column. And now that I have the percentages for each country and all of the names of the countries and my pie chart, I can go into Canva and create the graphic that I want to use for this. Here's the final graphic. And to create it, what I did is I took the graphic that I wanted to put the chart in and I just drag and drop it. And then I can use the edit photo background remover to remove all the white. Then you can position it however you want and take your chart and add all the names of the countries. So I have this chart here, so I can copy this, go back into here and paste it, then drag it to where I want it, change it to left justified, change the color, and then I can add the names inside my chart if I want. All right, you get the idea. And then you just keep going on and get all of the countries onto your chart, and then you end up with a beautiful graphic that you can share on social media. And there you have it, a quick and easy way to create gorgeous pie charts. If you have any questions about this video, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Your journey to crafting journals, planners, logbooks, and more starts here. Get going now with a free three-day trial at abookcreator.com.